So I have some chops. I was sampling this vinyl. And there's plenty of chops here. As usual. That's a good one. And one of the things we have here, uh, just wanted to let you guys know that obviously you can chop these again. Some of these aren't that small. And if you go to the program edit, you can cut them again, change the pitch. You know, those, those things that you can do to samples. So, and I always try different things with with the samples. And I end up uh, creating several sequences with different combinations to kind of find the best one that I like. And I just search through combinations until I find something that suits my ear. Obviously, then I find something. Sometimes I find it, sometimes I don't. The... And the, uh, the sample I ended up using is this one. And that's the entire beat right there. Just turn that into 16s. And that's the beat. So it's super simple. Well, this is just the beginning of a beat. Then I'm going to have to build the whole song. This is just the four bar loop that I created. Obviously, it's going to need changes throughout, but it's, it's, a, it's a nice loop. I like it. I'm going to use it. So I use 16 levels for this. And then I just drop the beat over it. A bass and then I added an extra sample that sample that's it that's the beat really uh, so it's very simple but I think it's interesting just to guys to see how a small sample like this can actually make a beat that's the interesting thing about this really my beats are usually very simple. The only thing that really takes time is for me to find a good match, to find a good drum beat that goes with the samples. That's that's really where all the all the work goes into. But the beats, most of the time, they're really simple. Okay, so let's listen to it once again. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks. And remember, just a tiny sample can become a a sample for a whole song.